It's a rare form of cancer that will strike about 60,000 people this year. There's no cure, and researchers don't know what causes the disease. However, a recent breakthrough is providing answers for people with a rare and specific type of pancreatic cancer. So let's go behind the mystery. Pancreatic cancer is an insidious disease that took 20-year-old Lee by surprise. It's rare for someone her age to develop it, as men over 65 are generally more at risk. I was a chemical engineering student in university. Uh, I was training for a half marathon, so my life was really, really busy. I started getting symptoms um, of kind of itchiness, and it was this kind of itchiness that um, was stopping me from being able to sleep. Like my feet were so itchy, my legs were so itchy. Um, and this went on for about a month before I also started to notice that my eyes were turning this kind of yellowish color. So I decided that um, I really needed to go into the walk-in clinic and I pointed out, my eyes are yellow, I don't think this is normal. Um, and the doctor looked at me and said, that's true, let's get you a blood test. It was at that point that the doctor called me back and told me I should go to the emergency at my local hospital as soon as possible. I was honestly shocked about this diagnosis. Um, I didn't even see this coming. The Balancing Act traveled to New York City to meet with Dr. Manuel Hidalgo to better understand pancreatic cancer, current treatment options, the importance of genetic testing, and NRG1 fusion cancers. The pancreas is an organ located in the upper abdomen around the liver and the stomach, and it has two main functions. One, it produces enzymes which are protein substances that help with digestion. And in addition, it has an, another very important role, which is the production of insulin that controls the metabolism of glucose in the body. For doctors to detect a, a tumor in the pancreas during physical exam is very, very difficult. And usually is not visible or, or, or palpable until it's very large and is causing symptoms. Pancreatic cancer symptoms are often vague and similar to other medical conditions and can include abdominal pain, back pain, unexplained weight loss, loss of appetite, nausea or vomiting, jaundice and changes in stool. By the time a diagnosis is made, 80% of patients have reached stage four and most will die within a year. Before I got any imaging, the doctors uh, believed that I maybe had gallstones, which is pretty common at my age, I've heard, um, or even something like hepatitis. They weren't even thinking about this at all. After the CT scan, they also did a biopsy. Um, and I was, I was very scared. I was kind of worried what's happening, what could be the cause of this. I got the biopsy results. I was there with my parents, and that's when they told me that I had pancreatic cancer. When I kind of looked into pancreatic cancer even more, I was just shocked. Um, this is a cancer that, that usually affects older people, people with certain risk factors that I didn't have. And so I was honestly just in disbelief for so long. For patients who have small localized tumors, we typically do surgery, and that is in general followed by chemotherapy. If the tumor is larger and cannot be operated, we tend to apply chemotherapy and sometimes radiation therapy first. The intent will be to reduce the size of the tumor and then do the resection. If the tumor is too advanced metastatic, the main treatment is chemotherapy alone. So in addition to the traditional treatments, there are now other strategies to treat cancer, such as immunotherapy and molecular targeted therapy or precision medicine. Unfortunately, it's not that common in pancreas cancer yet. I was really lucky um, with my diagnosis because the pancreatic cancer was really contained to only my pancreas. So I did choose to um, do a surgery to remove the cancer and then um, do chemotherapy to prevent it from returning. For the first uh, year and a bit, I was in remission from um, my cancer and so they weren't seeing any tumors, everything was kind of looking pretty good um, and that's kind of how it went for a little while. After one of my routine scans, unfortunately the results came back poorly and the cancer had returned and where it was this time, um, it was pretty much I was out of options. My only um, chances here were to choose to do chemotherapy or not, but either way I was told I didn't have very long to live. 
only between 5 to 10 percent of pancreatic cancer patients survive five years after diagnosis. Doctors are focusing more and more on genetic abnormalities that cause this deadly cancer to try and increase those odds. One of them is NRG1 fusions. So NRG1 fusions are one of the uh, genetic abnormalities that sometimes we find in cancer, by which cancer develops sort of a normal growth uh, capabilities. And they're important because they are, when, when present, they tend to be sort of drivers of cancer growth. And therefore, if we can detect them and block them, we have means to treat them. That is a mechanism to control the cancer. We have now uh, different ways to test the tumors uh, genetically. One of them is next generation sequencing. This is a relatively new, a new uh, uh, laboratory uh, technique that allows us to really look very comprehensively to the spectrum of genetic alterations that are present in a tumor and is becoming widely utilized as we uh, sort of diagnose cancer. NRG1 fusions are also found in other solid tumors, including lung, colon, prostate, and breast. NRG1 fusions in the pancreas tend to occur in younger patients. Since I had had my surgery, um, the hospital had held on to some of that tissue, and so they were able to test that tissue for the NRG1 fusion. So I remember receiving a call from my doctor. We were both actually ecstatic to find out that I had tested um, and I had had the NRG1 fusion. and. I was so excited. This brought in my options for treatment that are more targeted towards my cancer. My doctor told me that I was qualified to enter a clinical trial for an experimental treatment. For me, it kind of felt like I was super, super lucky in a situation where I had been unlucky to start with. Um, and so for me, this meant that I had a few more options to try and extend my life, to improve my quality of life. Um, and I was just so thankful for it. Maris, a clinical stage oncology company, is committed to helping patients overcome devastating diseases and close in on cancer. They are developing Xenocutuzumab, Xeno, an experimental cancer treatment currently being studied in patients who have solid tumors with NRG1 fusions. Maris is also supporting access to genetic testing for eligible pancreatic cancer patients that may help their physicians better inform them on the possible courses of treatment. If you're facing a diagnosis of a serious disease like, like pancreas cancer, it's very important to sort of get uh, information about the disease and then to, to seek an appointment in a center of excellence, high volume centers that have the expertise, the technology to do all these investigations and also to have access to clinical trials that can be potentially effective against those alterations. There are strategies that can be applied to this tumor type. So we still have a long way to go, but I, but I feel that we're moving in the right direction. Life today has kind of returned to its normal busyness. Um, I'm spending time with my family. I'm pursuing my master's degree. It was really hard for me to come to terms with um, kind of how unfair this whole situation kind of felt. But um, at the end of the day, it's kind of really helped me realize my uh, priorities and put a new perspective on my life where I just kind of appreciate, especially the people around me so much more than I ever did before. You know, no one knows how much time we have left. And so we may as well just kind of focus on what we love and just pursue it. If you're interested in participating in a clinical trial, please talk to your physician and discuss if it's an option for you. That's right. And for more information on NRG1 Fusions, visit nrg1.com or you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com.